Hi folks! I've been asked to use my big Fresnel lens to concentrate sunlight onto a single solar cell and see what happens. Of course I did a comparison test too, where I let the solar cell heat up and even smoke. With all the concentrated sunlight, these solar cells should heat up and be damaged, so I needed some way to keep it cool long enough to do the test. To do that, I planned to immerse the solar cell in mineral oil. This mineral oil is transparent and an electrical insulator. So I started with a container that could hold liquid. I cut a piece of glass just a little bigger than my solar cell. This is for a window into the container. I cut a hole in the cover of the container just a little smaller than the glass, as well as some additional holes for bolts and for wires. I cut a piece of metal for mounting my solar cell onto, and put holes in the corners of that too that match the holes in the container cover. I then bolted the metal to the cover, adding some silicon to help with the sealing. The silicon is rated for 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. I soldered some insulated wires to the solar cell. I then ran them through the holes and positioned the solar cell. I mounted the solar cell to the metal using just a few dabs of silicon. I used just a few dabs because this solar cell and metal will expand when heated and I didn't want the solar cell to be restricted since it cracks very easily. I then attached the glass to the cover using silicon, both to hold it in place and to make it leak proof. I covered the plastic cover with aluminum tape to protect it from the concentrated sunlight. And in preparation for the tests, I inserted a remote thermometer into the container and fixed it with aluminum tape. And here's the starting test setup. I have three meters, one for voltage, displayed in millivolts, the next for current, displayed in amps, and the last for the temperature in the container, displayed in Celsius. They'll so show it in Fahrenheit too. Here's a diagram of the test circuit. The first test was just in normal sunlight. The voltage was around 234 millivolts, the current was around 1.24 amps and the temperature was 39 Celsius or 102 Fahrenheit. The temperature LCD display is flickering because of an issue between the camera and the LCD display. In real life, the LCD display doesn't flicker. For the second test, I added the mineral oil just to see if there would be a difference. Initially, I was thinking of using water until I remembered that even distilled water is partially conductive. Luckily, I had bottles of clear mineral oil, which I normally use for high voltage work. The voltage was around 276 millivolts and the current was around 1.5 amps. This was higher than before, probably because the temperature in the container was around 29 Celsius or 84 Fahrenheit, significantly cooler than the tests were in air were. The colder a solar cell is, the better it works. The third test was the test using the concentrated sunlight from my 2 foot by 4 foot Fresnel lens and with mineral oil keeping the solar cell cool. As I said, solar cells actually work best when cold. The colder a solar cell is, the more output it produces. So solar in winter, like this, is actually a good thing. While putting the container in the right position, I kept it covered with a sheet of aluminum foil so it didn't start heating too soon. When it was in position, I exposed the solar cell to the concentrated sunlight. The voltage was higher, around 310 millivolts, but surprisingly the current wasn't higher, around 1.4 amps. The oil was doing its job and the temperature was only around 32 Celsius or 89 Fahrenheit. So finally the destructive test, using concentrated sunlight with no cooling. I removed just enough of the mineral oils so that the solar cell would be in air. I figured this test would destroy at least the solar cell and possibly some of the container. It would be a one-shot deal. As you can see, the voltage and current dropped hugely as the cell produced smoke. You can also see that the temperature in the air in the container quickly rose to above 40 and then 50 Celsius, or 104 and then 122 Fahrenheit. Opening it up, you can see the smoke and that there was damage to the solar cell. Further analysis showed that there was minimal damage to the plastic container, but you can see significant damage to the solar cell's silicon itself. A large portion of it is no longer blue. Instead, in places, it's dull gray, metallic color. And here's a summary of the results. The first two tests were done in normal sunlight, but the first one had just air in the container and the second had oil. That meant the first one was at a higher temperature, while the second one was cooled by the cooler oil. If we do the calculations, we can see that for every 1 degree Celsius that the temperature was higher, there's a decrease in the current of around 0.03 amps. So 0.03 amps per degree Celsius. That's probably what accounts for most of this difference in the current when we added the cooler oil. The current was lower at the higher temperature. Then we added the Fresnel lens to concentrate the sunlight. Interestingly, the power didn't increase much. The current dropped, but the voltage increased significantly. The current may have dropped because of the increased temperature. If we do the calculations again for the current change versus temperature change, we again see it's around 0.03 amps per degree Celsius. But where we saw an increase in voltage between the first two tests when the temperature cooled, this time we saw an increase in voltage when the temperature heated up. In other words, because of the added energy from the concentrated sunlight, we got more out. 
despite the increase in temperature. Well, thanks for watching. See my YouTube channel, Rimstar.org, for more videos like this. That includes one all about Fresnel lenses, along with a few more tests related to my lens. Another where I added a mirror to this lens for concentrating sunlight in an upward direction. And for variety, a fun video explaining what fire is. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, or give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you soon.